now we're in a park in Neu Isenberg because our kids judge their vacations by parks. So we went to Neu Isenberg after our flight. Uh, once the kids woke up a little bit, they actually never take a nap this entire day. So that's why later on you'll see them falling asleep. But they got, they wanted to run around and play. This playground is in the sport park, which is one of the things Noisburg is actually known for. They actually get a lot of kids into sports early in this area, and they train for their Olympics and other high-level sports at the sport park. Noisenberg is also known for the Isenberg Centrum, which is a really big mall. Um, we didn't go on this trip, but maybe next time we come in, we'll show you it. It looks very much like a mall in the U.S. Uh, so a lot of malls in the U.S. are closing down, so they're not as common. Um, they is actually in, located in Offenbach, District of Hesse, and is part of the Frankfurt Rhine main urban area. Get an idea where they are. It has a train that goes directly to Frankfurt, and a lot of people uh, work in Frankfurt, and it's used more as a suburb. Um, and it has about 38,000-ish populations. That's not a small town, really, at all. After we went and played, we went to the Christmas market that night at Neuisenberg. Now, this is used to be every weekend but since COVID, they only do it one weekend of the year, and it was this weekend since we wanted to go right away. This was considered a small Christmas market, so as we I go to other ones in the next couple of videos, you'll Good see that Friday. this we'll is a little bit smaller, but they still offered a lot of stuff. I didn't get a chance to film, we got a sausage. Um, I was holding Marcus at the time. It was, was really good. The, actually, the bread isn't like hard like you get at other places. It was like you could eat the bread standalone. But it was just a nice little treat. And it really was a really nice Christmas market. And I see it's, I think it's really small. It's much larger than any Christmas market in the area I live in the United States. Now, to get you some history in New Weisenberg, because everything in Europe is old. A New Year's ago actually was founded on July 24th in 1699 as a town of exiles by the Huguenots, which are the French Protestants who had to flee their homeland after the Edict of Nantes was revoked. Now, the new landlord was Count Johann Philippe von Isenberg Offenbach, guaranteed them safety and free use of the French language and religious freedom. And he gave them leave to settle in the Wooden Bon Dryage, an old royal hunting forest. Um, we actually went and put to a park in that forest. It still kind of exists. In this place where in the Middle Ages the pilgrimage chapel of Zoom Highland Courts the, to the Holy Cross once stood. By way of thanks to the Count, the town was named after Noe Isenberg. I know. you. Now, interestingly, the town was actually one of the planned towns of the 17th and 18th centuries. It actually was set up in like a diagonal grid formation, and the streets that you see in this video uh, the Kronengasse, Fargasse, Leuvengasse, and Hurtengasse are actually the original streets, and they expanded from there. They were farmers originally, and then they started turning back to their handcraft trades, which actually helped them to develop the whole area in, in the town. Um, of course, the surrounding communities didn't really like these French settlers coming in, and they called the town Belchesdorf, 
which is the yeah. German word refers to people who speak Yemeni languages, especially French. Yeah. It's a common with the English word Welsh does does not be the same thing. Um, so it was kind of like they were making fun of them being who they are. But get back to the story. On May 2700, a Thursday, by the way, the clergyman Isaac Bermond held the first church services under an oak tree in the middle of the church square, which is where we are in this video. In 1701, the forest house was built today in an inn called Frankfurt or Hell House. <laughs> city of Frankfurt on the main of the city limits with Neuseburg. The first French Reformed church was built of wood in 1702 and 1706. The foundation stone was laid on Ascension Day in 1702. Likewise, in 1702, the town hall was built at the marketplace and the house Sumluven was mentioned for the first time. This was used until 1918 as an inn called Orléans Dior at the Golden Line, as today it has this local history museum, which you'll see later on. <laughs> She's laughing. I've actually never been inside that museum, but it'd be interesting to go back and check it out next time we're there. Okay, the first school was followed in 1704 and in 1705. The Bonsmuller Mill, the wooden church was placed back in 1773 and 1775, the stone building, and 1780, the first German language school was built. After the conquest of Vienna in 1815, the county of Jesenburg, today with the Orop, Oberamt of Offenbach and its member municipalities passed the Grand Duchy of Hesse. In 1828, the Prussian Hessian Customs Union built a customs house, Frankfurter Strasse Zain, as its main customs office on the border with what was then the free city of Frankfurt, all making the close city, Neusenberg, even bigger. Despite the considerable reservations, German families too were moving into the town beginning the 18th century, leaving the French the churches having to hold services alternately in German and French as of 1761, much the French-speaking population chagrin. In the end, German was confirmed as the town's official language in 1829, and pretty much everyone speaks German there now. Oh, you'll also find that Germans usually speak pretty good English as you travel. In 1846, the main Nectar Railway near Neusenberg was completed, but the town did not get its own railway station until 1852. Do you want me to go through other interesting events in town? I just love seeing these old towns and seeing them grow. And this was definitely one of them that's just very pretty. And they have a lot of the old stuff mixed in with new and a lot of people were out tonight just enjoying themselves. Very much so. 